Hello, I'm Monica. I'm sitting in the shade today because the sun is shining and it's getting a bit hot. What a bright light the sun is, isn't it? And it lights up everything for us. It makes me feel happy to see sunshine. Does it make you happy too? What other lights make you happy? Christmas twinkly lights perhaps, or using a torch when it's dark so you can see. What's the brightest light you've ever seen? A really bright star maybe, or perhaps a really bright street light. What else? Have you tried to find something in the dark? It's really hard, isn't it? But if the light's turned on, it's much easier to find what we're looking for. The man in our Bible story today was born not being able to see. He'd never seen light. It was always dark for him. But Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And Jesus made the man's eyes see for the first time. Wow, that would have been amazing. How happy that man must have been. He'd received the light of God from Jesus and he knew for himself that Jesus is God. How amazing for Jesus to tell us that he is the light of the world. That means he's our light and it means that when we're finding something tricky or in trouble or we're lonely or scared or when we do something wrong, we can remember that Jesus is with us and he gives us his light to help us. If we don't have Jesus, it's hard to live the way we're supposed to. Like trying to find a book or your teddy bear in the dark on your own, it's too hard. But with the light on, we can see. So let's remember this week that Jesus is with us. He's there, ready to shine his light to help us when things feel dark.